Go ahead, Doug. Okay. Oh, oh, sorry, I gave you less time there. Ever. I'm looking at the clock to you. Over and over, what more can I do? My friends say I'm a fool But over and over I'll be a fool for you Cause you got um, personality um, person um, Talk, um, smile, um, charm um, um, Of course you got, got a great big heart over and over, over and over, over, and over. Over and over, over and over, over and over, and over, and over, over and over. What more can I do? Tell me what I was supposed to do there because I don't have that ear. That I love to you. Was I supposed I'll drop to just G? Come in. Over and over. Was I supposed to per chords? That the truth. Was I just supposed to do G there? Oh, oh, over and over. Say that I'm a fool. But oh, over and over. I'll be a fool for you because you've got um, personality. Um, what more can I do? And we might do the chorus one more time. What, what's some, what am I supposed to do when you're doing that? Do I just go? When, when you're doing a lit interlude, what's the chord change? It's, it's a, he's doing the, just the verse. Yeah, I'll just do the verse until you decide to come in. Okay, so just keep the verse in my head. Yeah. That's what sometimes I'm not used to doing the guitar. Okay, and then what was the other question I had? Okay, now we need Oh, I'm going to try not to speed up. I think I sped it up a little bit. It's cooler when it was. Yeah, and I'll just do two lines of the. I'll just okay, so it's from the top of the or the. Oops, sorry. And then okay, I'll okay. do that much of it. Okay, all right, good. What? Which um, one are we doing first? Uh. Probably this one should be second, but I think um, our thoughts are prayers. You have two songs okay. picked oh, yeah. out, though. Yeah, right? our thoughts are prayers. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, okay, because I, we didn't have Chess go over the the Bing I thing. I know. But go ahead, it, it, we'll sing find it. another place to stick that in in some of oh, our. Oh, it's theme. great. Do, if you do, you, do you, I mean, do you know the chords and stuff? Like, I've, uh, do you know the sound? I've got the music. You've got the music. I mentioned it to him. And, it's a thing a guy keeps in his closet, you know, yeah. waiting, yeah. Oh, good waiting one. for the call. You know, <laughs> something put on a fire. What did he say? He Some said the, the words for our thoughts and prayers are on the cover. Oh, it's the first song. Okay. Good, good choice, Julie. Linda, welcome back. It's it's just over and over the same chords, pretty much, except oh, okay. for one minus. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, we right. were talking about uh, the jazz team. The, the Bing thing. Yeah, but the, yeah. the, the Bing okay, thing. Okay, yeah. Okay. Which I'm is going to be the first Okay, song. I'm going to leave this here so it doesn't get lost. You guys are rehearsing for another gig. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, it would have been, if, I knew, if I knew how to play it, I would totally do that song to, as well. The Bing song called... Okay. Um, but you have stuff covered, right? Yeah, we got yeah. it covered. But it would be... But we should fool with it right after. It was the one that I sent you on, on uh, I sent it to Doug. Uh, yeah, that one. <laughs> you, and it's...
A joke? Yeah. Do I have a joke? Yeah. You know, I have a million jokes, but when you ask me for one, I'm like, uh, no. I can't think of it, right? <laughs> I hear you. You're wrong. Good morning, every. Am I on? Yes, you are. All right. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Let's everybody stand and let's do our welcome song on this beautiful, beautiful day. Hit it, Kevin. Kathy for a great leading. Yay! Energizing us to start with, right? Okay, we welcome you to Unity Center in Milwaukee where we subscribe, prescribe, and live with and to the five basic teachings of Unity in Lee Summit, Missouri. Uh, anybody needs to know or wants more on that, you can look on the website. They're right there. Or come talk to somebody that's here if you're in the building and, and want more of that information. In the meantime, we thank everybody virtually and here for joining us today. And we would like to start with our statement of faith, as if we believe it, because we do. There is only one power and one power in the universe and in my life, God, the good omnipotence. And our affirmation, we thank you, God, that we have come to this place to release the past, celebrate the present, and embrace the future in love, peace, harmony, and prosperity. And our congregational affirmation, which brings us all together as to who we are at the Unity Center. We at the Unity Center are a loving, diverse, inclusive, spiritual community who come together to demonstrate and live the teachings of Jesus Christ by listening, learning, and empowering ourselves and others. 
And I'd like to ask our chaplain today, who's Kevin, to come up and do our prayer requests. And then Denise will do our daily word. Good morning, everybody. I do have one prayer for uh, mental health because mental health is uh, is uh, the, the month of May is Mental Health Awareness Month. So we're going to pray for those who experience these symptoms and seek the assistance they need and affirm their wholeness. Amen. And any other intentions? Denise? Yeah. Janice Healing, okay. Earth, who my food and our Jen on her birthday today. Many blessings on oh. her. Oh. Amen. On birthdays, okay, great. Yes. Nolan Tabasco? I couldn't. Nolan Tabasco? Okay. And is this for healing or? Okay. Gene, do you have a, a healing request? Gerald. Gerald? Right. Thank you. Okay. Sandy? Diane and Julene, St. Therese. Oh. Yes. Um, Diane and Julene are in Africa on a, a what do you what do we call that? Gardening. It's a it's a gardening mission the where they're they're the teaching garden. local uh, villagers how to do sustainable gardening. Who else? Cindy? Healing for Tracy and Wendy. And, and a little clear eyesight for Jim. Clear eyesight for Jim. Okay. Anyone else? Yes. Ritz and Norma for healing. And Norma. Okay. Yes, Kathleen. For Julia and Terry. Julia and Terry. Okay. Susan. Diane. 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 Okay. Jen. Healing for Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Anyone else going once, going twice? Okay. All right. You got to put those really long ones in there. It takes me a while. I don't know shorthand. I'm healing uh, Ken and David. Ken and David. Okay. All right. Well, Join me in holding all of these people in prayer. Um, we here at Unity believe that prayer does make a difference, that God is always working in us and through us, and that the power of prayer can indeed heal and bless all people in all situations. So let's pray for healing for Janice and Nolan, Gerald and Tracy, Wendy and Jim, Rich and Norma, Julia and Terry, Diane, Elizabeth, Ken, and David. Let's hold them in the perfect white light of healing. And let's pray for Sue and Jen on their birthday weeks, for Diane and Julene on for a safe journey to Africa. And let's pray in gratitude for the prosperity of our congregation. In the name of Christ Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. And I would like to have the daily word read, so come on up, Denise. Good morning, everyone. 
As I practice the presence of God, I feel secure. There is only one power and one presence in the universe and in my life. God, the good omnipotence, omniscience, and omnipresence is not only all around me. God is within me. As I take this truth into my heart, I feel calm and secure. The circumstances of the world have no lasting power over me. God is greater and more endearing than anything I may be called upon to face. I have within me the power to feel God's protecting presence at any time. As I pray, I affirm the strength and power of God are mine to call upon. I can use these divine powers to move beyond that which may scare or intimidate me. In renewed faith and deep security, I move bravely forward. The one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. John 1, 4, 4. Thank you. You're welcome. And it's time for some music. I th we're going to be doing uh, our thoughts, our prayers, and uh, everybody is encouraged to sing along. Right. You know this one. Doug. Thank you, Doug. <laughs> keeping, my, keeping my pieces together here. Well, this is a song that we've sung before. I think the lyrics are coming up in just a moment. Our thoughts are prayers. prayers. Yep. We are always praying. Our thoughts are prayers. Listen to what you're saying. Our thoughts are prayers, and we are always praying. Our thoughts are prayers, listen to what you're saying. Seek a higher consciousness, a state of peacefulness, and know that God is always there. And every thought becomes a prayer. Our thoughts are prayers, the tools that we create with. Our thoughts are prayers that spirit resonates with. Seek a higher consciousness, a state of peacefulness. And know that God is always there. And every thought becomes a prayer. Our, Our thoughts are prayers. Just one more time, the first one. And Our we are always praying. Our thoughts are prayers. Listen to what you're saying. Seek a higher consciousness, a state of peacefulness, and know that God is always there. And every thought becomes a See, before we uh, bring up Reverend Patty for today's lesson, I have an announcement to make. I'd like the, the board to come up and stand with me, and uh, any members that are here from the Minister Search Committee as well. So I believe that our thoughts are prayers, and I think that our prayers have been answered because we have found a new minister. Um, our minister will have office hours on Fridays, and uh, will be speaking almost every Sunday of the month, one Sunday off just for mental health. <laughs> and uh, in case you haven't guessed it yet, it is Reverend Patty Pipia. Yay!
It took a long time to wear her down, but yeah. uh, she finally said yes. Yeah. Sure. That Welcome. That is so true. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Yeah, so you're stuck with me. Amen. Um, first of all, I just want to say it's going to be an honor and a privilege to be of service to you. And it's, it's going to help me grow more and stretch more. And I'm sure it's going to make you grow more and stretch more because it's been a while since you've been without a minister, right? Yeah, how long? Year and a half, yeah. So everybody's gotten the flow of doing what they like doing, right? <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> so I, I just put down a couple notes. Um, I do have a lesson prepared, and I'm sort of just going to go with the flow here um, a little bit. But the, the one commitment I want to make to you, because they are going to have a party of celebration for me, you know, coming in as the new minister, when all of our I's are dotted and our T's are crossed, and all that good stuff. I went through hell at the you know, Unity Worldwide Ministry <laughs> to go through their whole process, okay? And um, and I believe it's worth it, you know, uh, because there's nothing more in my life that I love to do is to teach about God. God is my passion, you know? And I do want you to know, I don't have it all down. You know, I have to practice it just as much as you do. And I still kick the can when I don't get my way and then find out God's got something better in store for me, you know. But the one commitment I want I want to make to you is, is that I will love you unconditionally. I will love you unconditionally. I may not maybe like or uh, what you say or what you do, but I will behold God in you because I know that you are a child of God and you are doing your very best. And what I'm going to ask in return is, is that you do the same for me. Okay. You know, nobody's, you know, I'm not like Jesus yet. I'm still working on it. You know, and I don't think any of you, yeah, not yet. Not yet. I'm still working on it. Okay, I will. We'll all drink, drink until we're happy. And, you know, um, I, I will not give you sermons on Sunday. As you know, you get lessons, you know, and I want you to take these lessons and I want you to run with it because my biggest goal, and I think, and I feel that churches have made a very large mistake by not emphasizing that you come to church to build your own personal relationship with God. Okay? It's not about you quoting the Bible. It's about you living the Bible. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. You, you walk your talk. You know, that's why I love that prayer. You know, your thoughts are prayers. What are you thinking? What are you manifesting in your life? Because it all starts with you, what you're feeling, what's, what's, what's your thought patterns, you know? And if you find yourself in a wrong thought pattern, you know, stop yourself. Look at yourself honestly and lovingly and say, what? You know what? That ain't appropriate. I say that a couple of times a day to myself. Patty, change that thought, change that pattern. You know, I don't want to go down that bad, bad road, you know, of negativity. So, you know, that's, that's my goal is to help you build your own personal relationship with God so that you can prosper, that you can prosper. And, you know, in fact, we're going to, I love the word wealthy. I want for all of you to be wealthy. And that's being prosperous in your entire being, in every area of your life. So I want you all to be wealthy because that's what I desire for myself. So why not desire it for my congregation? Did you hear that? My congregation. Yes. All right. And, you know, and, you know, I know that you're going to find this, you know, just a big surprise, but there will be changes. 
What? Yeah, there will be some changes going on. And you know what? All I'm going to ask you to do is to just give it a try. I know we're all creature of habits, but let's just give something different a try. Let's not limit ourselves or God expressing in and through this church. Does that make sense? Okay, I want to be clear, you know, because I love you. I mean, I've been coming here. Uh, I don't even re know if you remember her. Remember Pat Anderson? Okay, that's a long, long time ago. She got sick and she was talk, uh, She was rotating Sundays with Tom when you guys were without a minister. And that's how I started here. So that's many, many years ago. And Pat got sick and she never got to come back. Okay, God rest her soul. But she's still here in spirit and I can feel her coming in. And I can, I can feel her presence right now going, yeah, Patty, this, 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 this place has been yours for a long time. And she's the one who got me started or hooked on unity in Milwaukee and the congregation here. You know, so I thank Pat Anderson. So, and, um, and I know what the, you know, some of the changes, um, don't email me, don't text me about them. Please do not do that. I will not respond. You pick up the phone and you call me. Because we talk face to face. A lot of stuff can get lost in emails and texts. And a lot of good people fall away because something was misinterpreted. Well, there was a tone to it. Spare me, Lord, spare me. So I am, you know, come on, let's, um, I'm here on Friday, make an appointment, you know, make an appointment to come in and talk to me. Because I want to know you. I want to know your desires. You know, I want to know your thoughts. I want to know your feelings. And as long as things are in alignment with our mission and our vision statement, you know, we're good. But let's, let's, let's work together. Because you know what? I can't grow this church all by myself. I cannot do anything all by myself. First of all, I need the, the activity of the Holy Spirit. And I need all of you with your activity of the Holy Spirit. So just be patient with me and I will be patient with you. Uh, I mean, I'm not planning anything drastic. We're not tearing down the building and rebuilding anything. But energetically, we're, we're going to tear down things and rebuild in, in a different consciousness. Make sense? Are you in? Are you in with me? Okay, good. And um, yeah, just I, I, I love you. I respect all of you. I see you as children of God or divine expressions of God and and God bless you, you know, we're, we're going to have fun because I am a fun person. You know, we find the humor in ourselves. I like finding the humor in myself. Oh my God, I did that again. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So that's what I want to say. And I don't know when the celebration party is going to be or, you know, when uh, it's all going to start, but I, I just wanted to start out by saying that. Okay. You know, I'm excited too, because this, this gets my juices going, doing Sunday lessons and coming here and being with all of you, get my juices going, my passion of God going. And I'm excited. Are you excited? Yes. Okay. Do you still want me after this little talk? Okay. <laughs> okay. We're still good, right? <laughs> So your prayers have been answered, and um, I, um, I, I'm glad I went through the process to re-enter ministry uh, with the association. I mean, so I keep calling it Unity Worldwide Ministries. I'm glad that I did that process. It was very healing and uh, renewing to me. So thank you. Thank you. So today's lesson is on personalities and individualities. Charles Fillmore. Wait, let me back up. Does anybody have a question for me before I start the lesson? 
I, I told Kevin, you know, if, if people had questions or you can wait afterwards, you know, uh, with your coffee, I'll be here a little bit afterwards. And then I have to meet with the board. But if you have questions, don't hesitate. Okay. And thank you for letting me love you. Thank you. So individuality and personality, Charles Fillmore, I think this really goes back to, you know, my theory about us being created twice. Once be, we're spiritual beings and twice we were created as human beings. That was to house the body of the spirit. And the most important thing about truth is the most profound teachings of truth is the simplicity of them. You ever notice how Jesus's teachings are really simple, but so difficult to live sometimes? Like loving your neighbor as yourself. Doesn't the whole world have an issue with that these days? I mean, come on. So my question to you is, how are you loving you? You know, and how are you accepting other people is the way that you accept yourself. The way you judge other people is the way you judge and criticize yourself. There, there's a great awareness. Remember, if you're coming down hard on somebody, you know, I have to stop myself and go, God, Patty, you know, you're so hard on them. And then I stop and think, oh my God, that's, that's how I am with myself. I got to stop. You know, I got to have more love, more compassion, and to have the attitude to seek understanding than to be understood. That means keep your mouth shut and listen. Listen to that person. Because there is the individuality part of us, which is the spirit of God inside of us. And how do we get that individual individuality out and expressing more? It's about taking the bushels off of, off of our light, you know, our fears, our doubts, our insecurities. You know, we want our light to shine so brightly among men and women and children and animals and all the fairies and angels throughout the entire universe. We want to feel to be a part of them and them a part of us. And we can do that when we let go of the baggage that's no longer working for us. And you know what your baggage is. It's like an emotional backpack. Well, I've always been this way. Well, it doesn't mean you always have to be that way. Wake up, smell the coffee. Smell the spirit of God in you. It's like freshly cut grass. It's a beautiful, beautiful scent or a waterfall or a stream. You know, it's beyond our imagination. There's a greatness of God inside of. And in the teaching manuals back in Unity, it says to find personality. Personality is the outpicturing at any given moment of the total sum of all my current opinions of myself. Inner world, outer world. What we're seeing out here is a reflection of what's going on in here. And I'm talking about when you're dealing with people individually or group-wise, corporate-wise, what's going on inside of you that you don't like that they're reflecting back to you? That's pretty heavy, isn't it? Oh, God, it makes me responsible for my life, doesn't it? Oh, God, it makes me responsible for my actions. And it says it continues all the modes of expression I give to those opinion. Personality is the manifestation of the blending of all my modes of expression. Personality can be acquired, developed, strengthened, and changed because personality is a combination of physical inheritance. Oh, yeah, what about the stuff that we just picked up from our parents? The prejudices, the opinions of people about life, about politics. Well, we've always been this, so no, we're always going to be that. And I'm, if you don't like it, change it. That's why you got free choice. Am I right? Okay. I want you with me. If, I'm, if one of you is getting lost, let me know. I'll re-explain. It's okay. 
It's okay for you to talk back. It really is. We can interact sometimes, but just don't take over my sermon. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, my lesson. That's it. You know, uh, because personality is a combination of physical inheritance, intellectual pursuit, and emotional reaction in a human being. We may say it's a showing forth of our current state of human consciousness. In unity, we believe life is consciousness. Whatever we got around us is a reflection of what's going on inside of us. Now, if you go to um, a lot of dorms in colleges, the the uh, <laughs> the dorm rooms they're in disarray. You know, they're all they're clothes, food, you know, things just left open. And you know what? It's sort of a reflection of what's going on in them. They're going through so much stress, you know, and they don't have time. You know, they're always in a hurry for a class, always in a hurry to do this, always in a hurry to do that, you know, and you could, it's the mental chaos. Take a look at your surrounding and that's a reflection of your, your, your life consciousness right now. I remember one time going to a university when Sierra was looking at different uh, colleges and I loved the college and what they presented. Then we took a walk through the dorms and they were empty. They were empty. The students were already gone. I just said to Sierra, I go, you are not going to this college. I wouldn't even let my dog sleep here. And she says, why? I go, because I can still smell the B.O of all the prior students, and they said they cleaned it. That's shocking. And it just smelled like mold. I don't want my kid sleeping and breathing in all of that. Would you? No. That's why I said I wouldn't even let my dog sleep there. So now Charles and Myrtle Fillmore define individuality. It says, and how do we cultivate it and how do we strengthen it in our consciousness of our, of our own individuality? This is what my ministry is all about. It's about strengthening the God in you. It's about us strengthening the God in us. It's about knowing the God inside of us. It's about having a personal experience with the God of your understanding inside of you. And if you don't like the God that's inside of you, then fire that God and start getting a new image of God. Because God is all love. God is not judging you. God is not criticizing you. God is just loving you. And when we're going through challenging times, God's whispering in our ears, honey, I'm here. I'm here. Can I help you? Can I help you? Let me help you. But we're so mentally focused on what we think is the highest and best good for ourselves. We miss out on the opportunity to hear what is the highest and best good that God has in store for us. How God can heal us, how God can help us move through the transitions that we're experiencing in our lives. If we don't invite God in, how are we ever going to hear about God? How are we going to hear what God has to say? So they describe perhaps the purest definition of individuality is that it is my individual oneness with God. And this is what this ministry is going to work on every single Sunday. Wouldn't you want to feel more at one with God? It's an unlimited feeling of oneness. It's, it's a journey. It's not just a destination. We want to grow in the knowingness of God, the expansion of God. We don't want to put God in the box. Do you like being put in a box? So why wouldn't we do that to the God? Where God is all knowing, all present. And we don't, we're only on one planet. We're only in one galaxy. Wow. God is pretty awesome. 
And it goes on to say, because of the individual oneness each of us has, we are able to know for ourselves individually that God is indeed our father and mother and that we have access to all of the qualities and divine ideas which are part of our oneness. Divine ideas only come from God. We have thoughts, but when we have a divine idea, look what you guys manifested. I was a little slow getting the message, but you know, you got me finally. It was a divine idea in your minds and your heart and you guys prayed and you know, you manifested what you wanted. You know, God gives us a divine idea. And then I had to be slapped in the head about it at home. You know, Denise, she's my, my, my housemate and she's also the mother of Sierra. And she says, you know, Patty, every week you come home from, from unity in Milwaukee and you're just so joyful and you're happy and you, you just, you just love that church, don't you? And I said, yeah. She says, so why aren't you taking the position? Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> okay, all right. I guess I'll, you know, give it a try, you know. So, you know, but it was my own insecurities. I had to work through those. And I'm glad I did. Now I have a congregation and I feel more whole and complete. Because I love to teach. I love to preach. I, I love... I love God. I love God. And we're going to rock and roll. I don't care how big this church is or how small this church. It's big now. We're just going to get bigger. Okay? Because you know what? The vibration of this church is going to attract more people. The more we change in consciousness, the more we're going to attract people in consciousness. They're going to go, wow, there's something about that church over there. I think I'm going to check it out. Oh, I saw something on that sign. I really, gee, I never thought about that before. Don't worry. I'm going to come up with some doozies for that sign. Don't you worry. <laughs> but we can change them weekly or monthly, right? <laughs> All right. Individuality does not change. We, what? <laughs> so individuality does not change because it is not a thing it is a truth it's the truth it's your divinity your divinity does not change it's always whole it's always perfect it's always wealthy it's always filled with divine wisdom it's always filled with unconditional love it's up to us to tap into it. That's why we need to take the quiet time, the stillness within and just follow our breath in and out and feel that it is the breath of God. God said, I am closer to you than your own hands and feet. That's the breath. In, in the Muslim religion, they say it's your juggler vein. That's, that's how close God is. It's, it's the pumping of energy of the blood in and through the body. Isn't that beautiful? It's the life force. It's the life force that's running through our body. It is the blood. It, you know, like they say, you know, um, eat my body and drink my blood. Richard Billings said, who in God's name would want to drink blood? You know, he's right. So metaphysically, it meant that we are drinking the energy of God. We're drinking the energy of the Christ. And the Christ energy is running in and through our body and our arteries. Let's take more notice of it. Let's, be, let's act more like children of God. Whatever you're doing now is fine. It's perfect. But we can always be more, is what I'm saying. I'm not throwing any judgment or criticism. But for the love of God, we can be more God-like. Right? I got my own stuff I got to work on. Lisa, you don't have to come up here sometimes and share it publicly. 
but I will, you know. But it says we connect to cultivate greater consciousness of our individuality is by meditation on the truth of God and our oneness with God. We connect our thoughts of the great I am to all the divine ideas I know. I am peace. If we're a wreck, how about if we breathe in, I am, exhale out peace. I am peace. I am love. Let go of the stuff that ain't working anymore. We got to stop beating ourselves up and embrace the reality of who and what we are as spiritual beings, divine heirs to the kingdom. The more we embrace that, the more wealth that will flow into our lives, the greater opportunities will flow into our lives. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. And it goes on to say, we connect through the I am. We affirm the reality of the Christ within. I seek to live our life firmly based upon realization. Greater consciousness is a, con a cumulative process. And each step confirms the truth of our individuality. You know, sometimes I have challenges going to sleep at night. But I found out one thing that works. And I think I've shared this with you before, and I want to share it again, probably a thousand times more, is I'll breathe in, God is, exhale is. And then I breathe in, I am. God is, I am. God is, I am. Get a flow of your breath. And you know what happens? Your body starts to let go and you start relaxing. And then before I know it, I'm asleep. And then if that doesn't work because I'm really wrapped around the axle, then I go to my drawer and get a sleeping pill. What can I say? I call it an assimilated affirmation. Because, <laughs> you know, I drive a lot. So, you know, I, I have to be alert and awake. So sleep is very important to me. And um, I might have to continue this, this, this lesson because it's really good. And I'm just, I, I'm going to share this with you. And maybe I might share more the next time I come back. Um, because we still have to decide on that, is about, they talk about explain what John the Baptist and Jesus Christ represents. Now, this, this is really good. As biblical character symbols, John the Baptist represents the illuminated intellect stirring towards spiritual awareness, while Jesus is the living symbol of spiritual awareness itself. So John is like the burning bush. He's got the illuminated consciousness and Jesus comes along and he demonstrates it. He lives the truth. Isn't that beautiful? It really is. I really, really like that. You know, especially, you know, and I, you know, being first, I was a licensed unity teacher before I was a minister. And in both trainings, we had to back everything up with biblical verses. I'm not going to come up here and give you airy fairy stuff and no Bible to back it up. And then there will be a journey that we will take where we will do a journey on the parables and how they are our everyday parables still today. Isn't that going to be exciting? Yeah. So, yet one more interpretation we might give would be that John the Baptist represents the intellectual stirring for good. So that's the part of us that's looking for the more to life, the more God in our lives, while Jesus represents the human embodiment of good. So good is already inside of you, folks. It's only about calling it forth, bringing it forth. And that's what our ministry is going to be about. 
bringing forth the good in ourselves. Because the more we can see it in ourselves, you know what's going to happen? We're going to see it in others. So I'm going to end here. So let's take a deep breath and exhale out. Because we, we took in a lot. This is a lot. You know? It's a lot of good stuff. Breathe in again. And we're going to move into meditation. And just find yourselves right now. Just think to yourselves. I now release and I let go. And just feel your body letting go. So that you can become very present of the Spirit of God within you. The lower we let go of stress, the more peace we will experience. And we can all use some more peace. Breathe in the light of God. Exhale out all the stress or anxiety worries and concerns just let it go affirm within yourself i am at one with god and feel it take it from your intellect and put it in your heart i am one with god expression of the living spirit of God. I have purpose. I have value. We thank you, dear God. For the new minister. And the new minister thanks you, God. For this incredible opportunity. With all these individuals to grow together. Spiritually. We thank you, God. for all the good that you've given to us in our lives and all the good that you have prepared for us to receive. We thank you, God, for answered prayer. And we thank you, God, for the spiritual nourishment today. So it is. Amen. That's right, I have to come back up here. <laughs>
Oh, if you would take your tithes and offerings, gifts of love in your hands, as you are able and willing to give. Uh, those who are online, there's a slide after this. Everybody is able to give. I, th Every, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. See? Let, let, here, let me do this. All right. Well, one minute. Just <laughs> let me do yeah. this. Okay, here starts the change. Change, change <laughs> number one. <laughs> I only want you to give to this church and put in this basket if you can do it with love and gratitude in your heart. If not, please keep your gift until you can, because God is not an obligation. God is a gift. And your giving needs to be a gift with excitement and joy and enthusiasm, because it's your joy to give where you have spiritually been fed Bless that gift. And thank God that you have a gift to give. Because it came from God and nowhere else. And so it is. Amen. Thank you, Cindy. <laughs> oh, I'm just so psyched to be using it, going after my L-U-T under you. Uh, all right. Let's join in our offering prayer. There is no, let's hear it. Freely I give and freely I receive from God's abundance. I am blessed as I give and unity is blessed in receiving. We gotta follow that suit, you know. And then we have Julie and Doug and company and I don't know who else up with it. Maybe mom's gonna sing with you, huh? <laughs> My mom's here today. Mom, you wanna Hi, get up? Mom. You know this, is mom right? Sing? Please in introduce. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, she's not really. That was, that was a big tease. All right. <laughs> but uh, she's a good listener. So introduce yourself to your mo to my mom, if you want. She can be your mom too. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Well, okay. So last week we learned that this was the the, the theme. We d we didn't know that you were our new minister, <laughs> but we knew that your theme was personality and individuality, and we thought, well, heck. And come on out, Tommy. Come on down, Tommy. He's in the back. Uh, meditation took him, took him over the edge. And um, so I guess it's, it's kind of a per perfect song. I, I would guess that this song has never been sung in a church before. Okay. Well, <laughs> I like change. <laughs> Let him try and stop you. <laughs> And this is Tommy, for those of you that don't know, and of course all of you know Doug and Linda, and, and are you going to come up, Susan? I wasn't sure if Linda would be here. All right. Go ahead. There we go. It doesn't happen. All right, Doug, I'll let you give us a feel. to prove my love to you over and over what more can I do over and over my friends said I'm a fool but oh, over and over I'll be a fool for you cause you got personality one um, personality, smile, um, personality, charm, um, personality, love, um, personality. Um, of course, you got a great big heart. Oh, over, over and over, and over, over and over, well, over and over, you. over and over, now, over, over and over, and over, over and over. What more oh. can I do? Oh, let's hear it for those guys. Over, I said that I loved you 
over and over and now it's the truth over and over they still say i'm a fool but over and over i'll be a fool for you cause you got personality um. 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 Of course you got a great big heart Over and over 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 What more? Oh that was fun, let's do the chorus again Cause you got Personality one um. Personality talk um. Personality small um. Personality love um. Personality um. Personality um. Of course you got a great big heart mm. So over, over and over And over, over and over I'll over and over you Over and over Over, over and over and over Over and over What oh. more can I do? Fun. Isn't that cool that we can sing just about anything here? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you know, God bless. You know what? You guys already blessed us. You have the power of God inside of you to bless. Just as you have the power of God within you to forgive. You know? So right now, what I'd like to do, and this will be common, that I bless the givers, that the Holy Spirit moves through me, and bless each and every one of you for being the givers that you are. To being the vessels that you are to supply this church financially and talent-wise in the ways that you do. Because this church couldn't exist if it wasn't for you, for these gifts, and all the talent that you have. So I ask the infinite spirit of love, life, and wisdom to bless each and every one of you. May God descend upon you with grace and mercy and abundance of all kinds. And so it is. Amen. Amen. <laughs> One of the board members can have this. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Oh, announcements. So next week we have Reverend Eva and speaking on Jesus, where are you? Hmm, interesting. Where are you? Okay. As in, we'll have to find out, right? Uh, the book study continues each week on Thursdays at 9.30 and in person virtually and there is a new book that they're starting, Immigration Matters. See Kevin? If you want to uh, get any more information, send an email to the church if you need to get on the virtually and come join. Same thing with the Silent Unity Prayer Service. It starts right after that. Take a little break and then head for about 15 minutes. The discussion groups also continue. This Sunday we, I presume, are having Course in Miracles starting at about uh, 1145 in the fireplace room with led by Reverend Joanne Bauman, our Life Journey groups, the second and fourth Mondays. That should be this week. I'm like, is it, a, is it a fourth or a fifth Monday? We got that extra Sunday for us this week or this month. So uh, visit our website. Awesome stuff going on that. You know, it's, it's clean. It's easy to uh, go through it. Uh, check our past Sunday services, guided meditation. I bet there'll be a new picture up there soon. Uh, with some other information. So check that out and uh, see what you want to learn. See what you can learn because you'll learn something. Our spring fundraiser is part of a whole neighborhood uh, rummage sale, uh, garage sale, whatever you'd like to call it. We are gathering stuff. There's lots of stuff in the basement. There's room for lots more because the more we 
put out there, the more people will have and the more, uh, of course, that we will make for the congregation. Nothing's going to be priced unless it's one, you know, some larger items. So they'll take it as, as it is. Starting Friday and Saturday uh, from 8 to 5, as the neighborhood has it, uh, volunteers are needed. I know there's going to be some set up the Thursday before. There's some set up. Obviously, they'll need people to be here during the days on Friday and Saturday. So whatever you can give, if it's a half hour, hey, it's a half hour of more hands. And I think that's pretty much it. Talk to Diane, talk to Kevin. You can be part of that. We, we, we need some bodies that can bring stuff upstairs. That's going to be the big one. And I think they're doing some of that Thursday. So if you know some, uh, maybe some strong high school kids, uh, <laughs> recruit them too. Potluck Fellowship. Uh, next week after service, come bring a dish to pass. Enjoy, share. Pardon? Oh, no, it's two weeks. Is that next week or two weeks? Next week. It is next week. Okay. I just heard, oh, I see what's going on there. So, uh, I, I, heard, I heard the voices over there and wondered what was going on. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I don't know what is next. What's next, Kathy? I think that's about it. Okay. So come join us next week. Apparently there's some tech something going on over there. Um, so we will stand as you can. Uh, we're not joining a circle. We are facing the center based on our decision from our annual meeting. So turn toward the center, please. Um, and join your energy for what? peace. slide if you want to give uh, uh, virtually and everybody have a great week and celebrate safely if you are not with us next week for the holiday weekend. <laughs>